hello hello welcome back to another cash stuffing envelope video so this is going to be cash stuffing for february so if you guys are doing the boss up challenge with me we are now down to week seven of stuffing our envelopes and woo child it's been hard it's so hard in the beginning but what keeps me going is the fact that every week it gets shorter and shorter so let's see this is the month of January. And honestly, when I first did this, y'all, because I was starting completely over, the beginning was supposed to be zero. The end was supposed to be these numbers right here. So let's see. Let's look in our savings envelope and let's see what we did for the month of January to make sure our numbers is right so we can go in and fill up February's month to end with the savings envelopes. So the boss up challenge, which is savings, um, it's supposed to be, our goal was 772, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 50, 70, 71, 72, and this is prop money, if just in case you are just just in case you are new here, this is prop money. And the real money is documented in my savings account so that it can grow with the APR. Vacation was 20. I can tell that it's only a 20 in here. Car maintenance, only a 20. We just gonna leave all this in here, y'all. Birthdays is 20. Jazzy Boss, 20, which is vision. That's all they had and y'all was trying to wait i actually have new uh binders on the way and i was trying my hardest to wait but i'm gonna have to do i'm gonna have to use my new binders for march so house is everything was 20 okay christmas all right everything is in there so Now, the beginning of the month, so let's go to February. The beginning of February, I am enough. Um, okay, February, February, February. Now, we need to put the beginning, everything that we have in the beginning of the month for February. It's not until the end of the month that we're going to fill out this column. Okay, and I've already done my budget for the month of February. If you guys didn't watch that last video, I know it was blurry. After two hours of talking and making sure, I was very detailed so that you guys can learn. Once I started editing, I just was like, I mean, honestly, if they just listen and write their own budget as they're listening, that video can still be helpful. But if you guys need me to, let me know and I'll make a whole new one or I'll just go into further detail. If you guys have any questions, I don't mind at all. For the whole month of February, this is going to be my budget for everything that I have to spend. Okay, so we're gonna stuff everything except for the security, which is the boss up challenge. We'll save that for last. So for the month of February, Angel and DJ will be getting $35. Angel's gonna be so mad that I did this without her. <laughs> but this video is late enough. And car maintenance gets 25. Let's find car maintenance. Okay, that must be in savings, yeah. And for car maintenance, which is everything in this sinking fund binder, um, car maintenance will go into my savings. The real money goes into my savings. Oh, let's see. The balance for car maintenance is now 45. By the end of the month, this whole binder be empty, y'all. <laughs> 
boss up gets 15 which that is a part of the savings account which is the sinking funds binder and that's vision and that gets 15 now 35 and then gifts gets I don't know why I did I don't have a gifts envelope y'all but the last in the last budget I think it's because the last video where I was showing y'all how I do my budget I was giving y'all like false numbers and stuff and I wanted I was trying to make it realistic for y'all and I'm just like I was giving you an example of a category that you could have, but I don't have a gifts one. I have birthdays and Christmas is what I have. So I don't know. I'm going to ignore that. <laughs> um, travel is 15, which vacation. That's in the savings envelope, which is also my savings account. We get 15. That is now 35 is a balance. And y'all, I actually do have a, um, a couple trips planned, which is what I'll be using my taxes with though. So maybe the vacation envelope could be spending money while I'm on vacation. Okay, the next one was Christmas, which is the savings account envelope, sinking funds, savings account and sinking funds. And the reason why I keep saying savings account, because I want y'all to understand that the real money is in my savings account. I would rather all of my sinking fund money to be sitting somewhere where it can grow. So, and another reason why I've used, I choose to use prop money is because I, it's dangerous to be walking around with binders full of real money. If y'all lose that binder or if somebody, heaven forbid, takes it, <laughs> then what? You know, uh-uh. They gonna, they gonna think they got one up on me and they gonna have a whole bunch of fake money. Okay, so Christmas 20, it gets 15. And then now we have 35 for Christmas for February. Okay, 20, 30, 35. And then toiletries, which is over here. At the end of the month, honey, it's always empty. Toiletries would be miscellaneous, which everything in this envelope, y'all know I keep saying this is going to my savings account, this is going to my savings account. Everything in this envelope is going, it's going to be getting pulled from my credit cards. So because I know I have all of this money to work from for the different categories that I have, I'm going to be swiping my credit cards for it because all of this money is already on my credit card. But it just helps me stay in the budget where I don't go over the balance of the credit card. Because the balance on the credit card is determined by the amount of income that I'm getting this month. I hope that makes sense. If not, don't worry. Keep watching. <laughs> okay, so what we say, toiletries, miscellaneous, coming out of credit cards is going to be miscellaneous. Um, we have 15. Are we at the Dollar Tree this month? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Listen, sometimes you just, you make it happen, okay? And if 15 ain't enough, I'll be in my mom's garage grabbing a roll of toilet paper. <laughs> okay. Um... 
the balance is the same as it was. Okay. So clothing is 15, which I'm pretty sure, yeah, I swiped that up yesterday, last month, because uh, they had... They had a week of like spirit week and there was a shirt or was it 101 days? There was some shirt um, that they needed. I think it was 101 days shirt. And I just got the cheapest little shirt that I could find. I love doing my budget this way because it helps me see what I really can't afford. <laughs> you, you be thinking you can afford stuff until you put everything in categories like this and you'd be like, oh, Instead of $1,000, I really only got $50 for entertainment. And that's how you get on a really tight budget and you get in your bag. You look for different ways to make more income so that, you're, so that you can't have more wiggle room when it comes to your um, savings envelope. You can be having more than $15 for clothing a month, which is crazy, insane, super low. But I'm glad that I'm able to share this with you guys because... You never know. Nobody is ever alone. And there could be somebody that also only has $15 for clothing this month too. And it's just like, it's nothing. We have so many clothes. You got Shein. Like you just rotate the same clothes and you let your envelopes stack up until you have enough for like a pair of shoes for the new season, you know, but you also get in your bag. DoorDash is my best friend. Clothing is the same. Entertainment. Yeah, I don't know why I put entertainment. I don't have an entertainment envelope. I have a fun envelope. So I guess we could just add those together. Entertainment is $50, fun is $50. So we just gonna grab a hundred. And what I do is if I, if I have a day of spending, running errands or whatever, I keep all of my receipts. And at the end, before I go to bed, I will, I'll explain that later. Hold on, let's keep stuff in. Okay, so fun. Um, okay, and then beauty this month is $60. I'm not getting my lashes done this month. So all I need is like money for like hair because I'm gonna do box braids. So I'm getting me braiding hair. Um, I'm getting me braiding hair. I'm doing my own pedicure. I got press on nails and... Um, the only thing I need to pay for is to get my eyebrows tinted. And I also bought me my own strip lashes for like if I step out with friends. Beauty, which is also my credit cards. Okay, and then birthdays, which is in my savings account and my sinking fund binder that is 15 wait a minute it was my mom's birthday and I must have forgot to take this out Okay, 15. And then house gets 25, which is my savings account envelope, binder, whatever. Savings account envelope. And also my sinking funds binder. Okay, so now it is forty five. And then gas for the month. I know for a fact I use everything. Gas is 160, which is always, I, it's never, you're never gonna roll over with gas. 
I literally use the whole, I use every single dollar out of the gas envelope. We already did fun and entertainment is together because I don't have an envelope for that. I can't wait for my new binder, my my new cash binders to come. So basically, let me tell you guys. So what I do is every time I keep these with me, right, along with my planner, I keep both of these with me. And every time I spend money out of gas, I will keep my receipt. And I will either put it in here or I will put it in my purse. And at nighttime, before I go to bed, it is a part of my nighttime routine that I take all of my receipts and I open up my planner and I go to the expense tracker. And I'll write down, this says the date, the description. So let's say gas, I'll, no, I'll put in like Kroger. So, I'll put today's date, I'll put Kroger, I'll put $40 in the envelope, I'll put gas, and then I'll put the balance of what I have left in that envelope. And that's how I keep track of every single penny, okay? And now let's go to the boss, the boss up challenge, which is this one. It's the second page. The boss up challenge is the second page in the planner. So the boss up challenge is very hard. You have to be disciplined, but it's a very big reward by the end of the challenge. So week one, it's about $200. Week two, it's a little under $200. And you can be selling things. I know y'all got that cute, fancy gown that y'all went to the ball y'all went to a gala in and you know for a fact you never gonna need it again sell it on poshmark another thing you can do is doordash another thing you can do is stop spending money if you are in there, there's a reason why you guys are watching this and if you are into cash envelopes you can't be an impulse spender that's how i know <laughs> You can kind of tell when people be lying because if they impulsively spend their money, it's just impossible to be an impulse spender and doing the cash envelopes. You Like it doesn't go hand in hand. You wouldn't be able to do it. So it's definitely a fight. You got to be disciplined with yourself and have control over your spending habits. And this is just a fun way to keep everything in line, keep your house in order, keep your finances in order. So the boss up challenge money is also sitting in my savings account so it could grow. And that's what I'm saying, y'all. The more money you put into your savings, it's just going to get bigger and bigger by the end of the year. So you're you're going to have way more than 5050 by the end of the year if you stick to this. But you have to love yourself. You have to be your own rich husband. <laughs> okay, so my boss up challenge is everything that's going to be in my savings account. So this week, I'm going to work really hard. I'm going to sell something. I'm going I'm to do some hair for some money. I'm going to do DoorDash and I'm going to get this $87 left that I need. I'm going to transfer it to my savings. And then with the prop money, I'm going to add what I put in my savings account. I'm going to put that amount for my prop money into my savings envelope and then by the end of the month we can pull it out and count it to see if we met february's go for the boss up challenge which is the same thing we just did at the beginning of the video for january so i know exactly how much i'm getting paid for the month to be able to write this out for february before it even happens and like i stated throughout the month as i'm getting paid I will be transferring money to my savings. Now, in the last video, I had talked about my budget and how I pay my bills with my actual bank, my debit card, my bank account first, and then what's left gets split up into my credit cards outside of what I have to put over here. So we write this a month in advance and then we also have the due date. So then every time we get paid, we know which bill to prioritize first. Here goes the due dates to all my credit cards, the due dates to my bills. So I make sure with my bank account, I will pay my credit card minimum balances 
and my rent. Then I'll also transfer from right here, travel all the way down. I will transfer this amount to my savings account and then I will use the rest of what's left and I will put it onto my credit cards that I'm going to be using throughout the month and everything that I'm gonna be using is right here, which is the variable, which is everything that you're gonna be taking out to spend sporadically throughout the month, which can be toiletries, clothing, entertainment, beauty, gas, and fun. This is a variable binder for the fake money, which is also going to be my credit card, which is all the money is gonna be on the credit cards for the variable. All of the real money is gonna be in my savings account for my sinking fund binder. That way, again, it's gonna grow and grow and grow with it just sitting in a high APR savings account, which I use Discover, but do your research and see if that's a fit for you. I do Discover, it's an online bank account, so you can't go nowhere and make no withdrawals or it's gonna be a fee. I don't wanna withdraw anything. I love documentation. I would like to purchase a home one day, and so that's how I'm gonna keep up with all of my finances and grow my credit is by this system that I use. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions, comment down below so I can make a video and explain to help you get some clarity. And just know for March cash envelope stuffing, we will be counting out our envelopes and putting the balance for what's left at the end of February. I love you guys and I'll see you guys in the next video.